Hello everyone. So today I'm going to do the floor. This is what we've chosen for the floor. It's a, a roll of vinyl flooring. As you can see, it's laminate wood effect. It's going to kind of match with the the dark stained wood we have in here. So we've got to clear the floor, get it all out of the van. I, I'm not very good at doing this stuff. Quite fiddly when you've got so much excess to cut off. So we need a knife, we need double sided sticky tape and we need spray glue. The sticky tape goes around the edge of the room or the area and uh, spray glue for the rest of it so it sticks to the floor. Yeah, so the, <clears throat> I prefer to use the vinyl as opposed to actual laminate flooring. There's no chance, there's no chance water can get through. If you spill anything, this sort of catches it, you can mop it up quick. Um, laminate flooring. Some of it is quite watertight now, but you, you know, I'm, I'm all, I'd always be worried that water would get in, into the, you know, into the joins, but anyway, it's what we're gonna go with, so. Let's have a go, it's gonna be awkward. Anyway, let's clear the floor. Be so awkward. Maybe it'll be easier to start with the bulkhead. It looks nice. Okay, people that do this for a living will probably have a real go at the way I do this, but I'm I'm no expert, I'm just having a go. But yeah, I've got to cut this uh, this profile out here. So I've got a sharpie, I'm gonna put place to hold a pen against this wood. And drag the wood across here, pushing the wood against here, and then I should draw the cutout. Let's have a go. Same on the other side. It's going quite well so far. It's on the front edge, the side edge, up to the wheel arch. It still needs a little bit of trimming. Both sides of the wheel arch have done. I just need to do this bit here now. Now I want to make sure that the obviously the, the flooring gets cut off in the corner, but then it goes underneath this door a bit and meets up with the garage floor that I've got inside. So I'm gonna have to take the garage door off. Uh, it'll make it a lot easier to do that. So yeah, garage door off now. I've got this spongy floor here. So I just want to make sure that this floor meets up to that floor. At least do my best anyway. If there's anyone that does this for a living that could give me pointers for the next time I do this, that would be good. I'm just going to push it up. 
Uh, and then just draw a little line. Like that. Right, interesting bit now. Got to roll, got to roll half back. Sticky tape around the outside, spray glue as you roll back. Now I've learned from doing my van in my Iveco, don't roll half back, roll a tiny bit back. And then, yeah, tape, spray glue, probably like a, a foot or two foot. And then stick that down and then roll the most roll most of it back to back because uh, in my other van I rolled half of it back, sprayed glued and tape, and when I rolled it back, it 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 moved somehow. So yeah, I'm just gonna pull back from the front here a couple of feet, one or two foot, and stick that and then I'll roll it all back to that end, and then as I'll, I'll as I roll it all out, I'll spray glue and put all the tape around the edges and stuff. That's the plan anyway. Right, spray adhesive, double sided tape.
one sofa. You're so far away. You may see that there's a diesel heater in the last images of the sofa. That is next week's video. So there we go. I did the front. I've still got to do like bits of trim around this uh, opening. There'll be a little curtain or something across there. That's my porta potty from my van, just to um, so we can get a size comparison. I'm gonna probably gonna order the same one. Um, I don't know. Maybe maybe I will. Maybe I won't order one. But I've made the hole for the right height with this porta potty in mind. I think it's about 60 or 60 to 80 pounds to get one of them toilets. So we may just buy one and sell it with a brand new porta potty. You can either have it that way round, which gives you space down the side for your loo rolls and toilet chemicals, or you can spin it sideways to have it further away from the, the heater. But yeah, so this is going to be storage in this area. I've still got to have one more slat, which is going to be sort of a diagonal slat going to go here. This section is removable, so you can access the heater if you need to do any repair works, but you should have to. A lot of you are probably screaming at me saying, why have you used such thick wood for a sofa? Well, in my IVK, I used the same sort of wood for the frame. Excuse me, and it's proper sturdy. Um, you can sleep an adult on it very comfortably, and that's what I wanted to, to, to do here as well. Now, I keep checking my weight of this van regularly. Uh, I'm doing very well. I'm doing well. It's all lightweight clad in and stuff, so it's... Other than the sofa and, the, and some of the, the bed supports, it's, it's all fairly lightweight material, so yeah, I keep checking, I'm, I'm okay. But yeah, this is six foot, six foot and three inches. We're up to the seat, it's six foot and three inches. And you could even scoot that chair forward if you were taller than that. So you, an adult could still sleep on that sofa quite comfortably. I made it wide enough. It's two foot, one inch wide, very sturdy. Very spacious if you were to lay down there. I've got blimmin' wood everywhere though. Oh, one sofa. Foam is going to be an a upcoming video. If anybody needs foam for their camp build, hang on just another week or so because we, I'm going to be bringing hopefully a discount code to you for some foam. So yeah, I need foam for this and foam for the bed. So foam, a bit of trim around there. And we have a sofa. I have somewhere to sit. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed it. Next week's video is all about diesel heaters. And it's taken me a long time to edit that video, so. All right, thanks for watching everyone. Subscribe if you haven't, you know the drill. See you next week, bye bye.